Hello, everyone, and welcome to the DPB Podcast. I am your host, Ryan Mondes, with DisneyPinsBlog.com, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. This is episode number 137 for the week of July 23rd, 2018. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast. All right, welcome back to the podcast, everyone. This week, I have my good friend Jen joining. Hey, how's it going? Living it off in Magic Kingdom. Yeah, always. Always. Living the dream at Magic Kingdom. All right, so uh, for the podcast this week, episode number 137, um, just have a, a small item for housekeeping, a little bit of pin news, and then later for Disney Pin Chat. We are going to be talking about the Finding Nemo mini event going on, trying to clear up some questions on that, because I know we've been getting pounded with the questions on social and on the website. Um, So yeah, I just want to clear up that. Um, And then we'll cover some of the upcoming events. So let me just start off with housekeeping. I have one item. Um, We made an update to the pin category section. I know this is a very popular uh, piece of the website. And I thought it was um, beneficial to add a Comic-Con section mm-hmm. to pin categories. I know with San Diego Comic-Con, it was just this past weekend. So there was lo- Yeah, lots of pin news there. Um, the New York Comic-Con goes on. And basically, anytime there is a Comic-Con and there's Disney or Marvel or Star Wars pin releases there, you'll be able to find them in that specific category. Um, so just because of the popularity of these pin releases, I wanted a central location for them all. Yeah, so that's the only update this week on the website. Everything else is uh, as usual. So we will just get right into the pin news. Uh, so first, I want to start off with Box Lunch. They had an explosion of pin releases this past week. There was just so many. And uh, at the time I'm recording this, we actually don't even have them all up yet. Um, mm-hmm. But I do have some exciting news. Uh, we are actually, um, I know you guys in the past, I mentioned we worked with Box Lunch on um, announcing their Toy Story Land opening day pins. Uh, we're going to be working with Box Lunch a little more closely, um, previewing all of their um, new pin releases. It's so exciting. we should have them on the website before they actually appear in the store. Nice. Yeah, so that's that's really exciting. But yeah, like I said this past week, there were so many pin releases, Jen, like... It I went to that crazy. store yesterday. Did you? Did you uh, find any of the new ones? At the Florida Mall. Um, no, I looked at everything, but I was very strong and did not buy it. There was so much stuff, though. Like, oh, my God, that yeah. store. The one at the Florida Mall is very small. Oh, so yeah. there's just so much merchandise crammed in this little tiny space. Uh, th- there was a lot to look at. And they have all the Disney stuff. And then they also have... Um, some of the lounge fly like purses, so they have all of that, and they have jewelry, so they have so much stuff in there. It's awesome. Do they, at, at your mall, at, at your box lunch store, do they have all the pins in those little buckets? Because that's how it is um, at, at my mall. It's really kind of like hit or miss. Like there's not yeah. one particular setup. It's just they have it more so set up by theme. So they'll okay. have like a Moana section and a stitch section and have everything that kind of goes with those characters in that section. Um, and all the Disney stuff is right at the front of the store. So it's like you walk in and it's like, it's so much stuff. Um, yeah. And they also have Hello Kitty stuff. So I'm a big fan of Uh, that. You love that. (laughs) (laughs) I do. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if you guys were on the vlog this past week or, you know, in the past few days, you probably saw a ton of new pin releases for box lunch. Um, like I said, we're still adding them to the site, so uh, keep an eye out. Um, I'm going to kind of quickly go through most of them here. Um, but when I was at my box lunch store this past weekend, they didn't have any of these new pins out yet. I believe some of the box lunch stores out in California have them already. And then some of these are actually going to be appearing on boxlunch.com. So uh, keep an eye out here probably in the next week or so. Um, <clears throat> but first, there was an Edna Mode Incredibles 2 pin set. That was a super popular one whenever we posted that. Um, that's a two-pin set, and the retail price is $14.90. Um, and like I said, all these are available you know, mid-July 2018 here. Um, next is a Simba and Nala box lunch exclusive from The Lion King. Two pins there, and that one, the retail price is $12.90. 
There was a Cricky, I think that's his name, Cricky from Milan. Yes. Uh, this was another really cute, popular pin. It has him, uh, you know, chilling in the teacup there. Uh, He's so cute. Yeah, it's a small little pin. That retail price is around, I think, $8 for that one. <clears throat> then there was a Genie Magic Lamp pin from Aladdin. This was another popular one. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Magic Lamp one almost looks like it has a little bit of a 3D element pop out with yeah, gold. Yeah, it does. And, yeah, he's kind of bursting out. It's a really nice pin. Um, and all these pins that Box Lunch has are actually um, their lounge fly pins, but they're Box Lunch exclusives. So, and they are official Disney pins. I know a question we get a ton is if you're able to trade these in the parks. And the answer is yes, you can, because it has the official uh, Disney copyright on the back. Um, and then there's also another Lion King pin. It features um, baby Simba, kind of like the outline where he's uh, drawn on the rocks from the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was three new Mickey Mouse pins. I really like this one. It has Mickey yeah. Mouse holding a surfboard. He's cute. Yeah, he's got his flip-flops on, heading down to the beach. Um, and then there's just a classic Mickey pin with his red shorts. And then there's a Steamboat Willie pin. All of them, they look super happy. Nice pins. And uh, those are around like 8 to $9. So It's a really um, good price, too. I mean, yeah. honestly, it's not bad. <clears throat> it, yeah, I think it's great. Um, and a lot of these pins, they're open editions, but they don't stay in the stores or online for mm-hmm. a long, a long period of time. So it's almost like they are a limited release. Okay, so that is it for the box lunch pins. There are a few more, like I said, but uh, keep an eye out on the website this week. I'm going to be adding them on uh, soon. Uh, but next, we're going to head over to Shop Disney uh, because it was the Mickey Mouse Memories seventh pin set. I was out there. If you guys hit up our YouTube channel, I did a little vlog from the mall. Um, this was the 1970s pin set. Um, like I said, it's the seventh one in the series. It was released on Saturday, the 21st. This one changed actually a little bit from um, the previous releases. They changed the online release to 3 p.m. Eastern time hmm. before it was 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. So you didn't have to, you know, eat. Um, yeah, West Coasters could get it at midnight, East Coasters at 3 a.m. And now they changed it to the afternoon. So I actually got mine at store opening on Saturday, and it hasn't even been released yet online. So, hmm. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that was an interesting uh, change there. But I think some people were happy about it because you don't have to wake up. Uh, you know, 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we're going to head over to Hong Kong Disneyland. They had their next Disney Classic pin series release. Uh, this one features Lady and the Tramp and the Aristocats. Um, I think they're so cute. Yeah, yeah, Jen, another one that's very popular really out there cute. at Hong Kong. Uh, these are limited edition 500 pins, stained glass element, pin on pin design. Uh, they were released on Saturday, July 21st. And there's two more releases in this series, and they release two pins at a time. So we, we have four more pins um, in this nice. series. Yeah, so about two more weeks of those. Uh, next, we'll head over to Japan. There was a. <laughs> yeah, <Jen. My> homeland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your homeland. Um, God. Uh, you got to go back. So, like, I hope Cookie makes it there soon. Oh, I know. The little puppy dog. You saw they released a turtle in yeah, Hawaii. The, the turtle, yeah. In Alani. He's cute. I wonder, I, I bet then the first turtle pin's probably going to be coming out here in the next couple of weeks. I would assume. I mean, because yeah. he's not even, like, out out yet. They just, like, showed, you know, they're like, All here right. he is. Is this another friend of Duffy? Yes, it is. Duffy wow. has a large family now. <laughs> he has so many friends. Yeah, but no one cares about him here. But he has so many friends <laughs> or on the other side of the world. Yeah, he's a very popular bear. He's very popular, but not yeah. in the United States. No. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Got to go overseas to hang out with Duffy. And, yeah, <laughs> and Cookie and Gelatoni and mm-hmm. the whole crew. Yep, the whole gang there. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, in Japan, at uh, Disney Store Japan, there was a Toy Story Pizza Planet uh, pin set. I love this one. I am a big fan of Toy Story and Pizza Planet. Uh, there's Yeah, there's four pins in this set. The Aliens, Little Rocket, the Pizza Planet truck, and then just a regular Pizza Planet logo. Um, that's four pins, and that's available exclusively on the Disney Store Japan website. So unfortunately, you can't get that one here in America. Yeah. Yep. Which is so sad. I would buy literally everything from the Disney Store, like Japan site, because oh, they have completely different merchandise than we do here. 
I wish we could order from them. That'd be awesome. Same. Me too. Uh, all right. Next, we're heading over to Disney Movie Club. And Jen actually helped out with this post. So thank you, Disney Jen. Movie Club. Yeah. <laughs> VIP. <laughs> you're, you're a VIP. Yes, I am. There was a new pin release for VIP members. It features the Infinity Gauntlet from Marvel Avengers Infinity War. And uh, the retail price on that pin is $6.95. Or I believe if you purchase a free. movie. It's <laughs> if free. you're VIP. <laughs> yeah, if you're VIP. Uh, so that one was released last week. Um, that one's up on the blog as well. Uh, now it's time to head into Disney Parks in America. Um, first, we're going to start off with the uh, Magical Mystery pin series number 12. It has been released at Walt Disney World. I'm not sure if it's available at Disneyland yet, but it should be coming very soon. Um, these are those little blind bags that you can find usually at the registers. And it has one pin per uh, bag. And the retail price actually increased on these. They used to be mm. four yeah, they used to be four ninety nine and yes. I think they went went up maybe to five ninety nine. Um, but now they are six ninety nine. See, yeah. at that, I don't know if I'd just toss it in. You know what I mean? Yeah. When it was cheaper mm-hmm. and I was buying a bunch of other stuff, I'd be like, oh, throw one in. Yeah, it's like $4. Like, you know, throw, throw it in. $4, no big deal. $7? Yeah. Getting a little pricey there for because it's a very small pen. It's, uh, it is. It's like the size of a stamp. Um, but people were very excited about these ones. Um, because they feature backpacks with Disney characters on them. Perfect. Just in time for back to school. Absolutely. Uh, so the characters featured are Donald Duck, Marie, Grumpy, Ursula, Baymax, and Stitch. I mean, they're real cute. I'd be tempted. I think I might pick up a pack or two. We'll see. I, I just, I like the design. It's like those kingdom of cute pins. Like, I'm just, mm. eh, let me throw one in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Totally. And, I, and I, I need that Baymax for my collection. Yeah, clearly. Mm, you need clearly. it. <laughs> have to have it. I like the Stitch and I like the Donald Duck a lot. I like those two a lot. And Marie. I mean, I love Marie. Mm, you need them all. <laughs> of course. Obviously. <laughs> Maybe we can do a little unbacking. We can do a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> you can have Baymax if I get him. All right, thanks. And you can have whatever you want. Whatever exactly. I get. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a little trade. We do a little trade, yeah. yeah. Uh, also at Disney Parks was a new Nightmare Before Christmas lanyard, metal, and pin. Uh, these are pretty popular uh, for people who want to spruce up their lanyard at the parks. You can have a little uh, lanyard metal hanging off the bottom, and then you get a pin with it as well. Um, and this one was, of course, popular, especially out at Disneyland, because it features Nightmare Before Christmas on it. Uh, retail price is $17.99. And the lanyard metal itself has like a brushed metal look to it with Mm. Jack Skellington on it. And then the pin features Oogie Boogie. Those are real heavy too. I mean, you get your money's worth with those. They're very heavy. They are solid. Sometimes, you know, I I use these and I put them on my backpack like uh, like Like a a keychain. Same. It's just too heavy to wear on like a pin lanyard. Like it's too heavy. Yeah, it's a little heavy around the neck. (laughs) <laughs> and I'm already like, you know, falling yeah, I over. Got these dang my... pins on me. All right. So um, next at Disney Parks, this is a cast member exclusive. Jen, I don't know if you've been to Company D lately, but uh, the there's Jungle a Book, huh? yeah, yep, the yeah, the Jungle yeah, yeah, yeah. Jungle Book. What's my name? Pin collection. Uh, if you guys are aware of these, uh, they do these occasionally. It's basically like a cast member name tag themed to a uh, character. In this case, it's the Jungle Book. Um, the two randomly selected pins per box, and this one has 10 pins in total, all with different characters from the Jungle Book. I've seen some of them, like, out in the wild, because one of uh, my fellow cast members, somebody had traded him one, and they know that, like, I like pins. So they were like, what is this? Because they knew it was, like, a name tag, but it was really hard to tell what was on it. And I was mm-hmm. like, I think it's an elephant trunk. And then I was like, wait. It's Colonel Happy, but it was uh, super hard to tell, like, what it was if you didn't know that that's the set it was from. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just, it's very limited detail on it, but once you know, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they are a little hard to, to see. I, I saw some funny comments on Instagram whenever we posted them. Some people said they look like inappropriate things, but <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to go check out the, that on yeah. Instagram, you can go read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. So for the new pin releases this week at Disney Parks, um, we have one exclusive out at Disneyland. This is the next Once Upon a Time pin. It's those circular pins with like the little hinge element in the center, and it has different characters on it. This one is probably my favorite. It features Aladdin. You have Aladdin on one side, a Genie on the other, and then you flip it over, and it features Aladdin again with Jasmine with a Starry yeah. Night background. Super that's nice cute. pin. Yep, and that's limited edition of two thousand. Retail price tonight, I think, is fifteen ninety nine, or it might be sixteen ninety nine. I'm I'm not hundred percent sure on that. So yeah, that is all of the pin news for this week. You probably think I'm missing something, but that's because we're going to talk about uh, the Finding Nemo mini event for Disney Pin Chat. Yeah, so let's head Finding into Nemo. Disney Pin Chat. Finding Nemo mini event. So I know there was lots of questions on this, uh, when, especially whenever we posted it, um, you know, a few weeks ago. I um, just want to clear up the air a little bit on this mini event they're calling it. So it's it's actually not an event. You know, I reached out to my uh, contact at Disney, and it is basically just a themed Thursday pin release. These pins are going to be split between both coasts, Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Um, if you guys are unaware, there are they're doing this these themed Finding Nemo pins. There's a box uh, pin set, a jumbo, uh, and then three individual pins. And yeah, it's just like a typical Thursday release. Um, I know some of the questions that people are asking: Where can I buy these at? Am I going to have to RSVP? Is there going to be um, a ticketing system? Um, I can kind of give you like my best response in this. I don't have all the information. What I do know, I'll let you guys know. Um, I do know this isn't an RSVP, RSP event. It's first come, first served. It's your typical, you know, two pins per person type thing. And Dis- it's going to be at Disneyland. I don't think it's going to be a ticketing system like they did for like the Disneyland and the um, Windows mm-hmm. of Evil. I don't think it's going to be that set up like that. Walt Disney World, I'm assuming it's going to be definitely at Disney Springs at Pin Traders. Um, and then I would say the major pin stores at all four theme parks. So you have Frontierland Trading Post at Magic Kingdom, uh, Pin Central at Epcot. Um, probably the, I would say the dark room at Hollywood studios. And then mm-hmm. I think it's discovery trading post at animal kingdom. Yeah. One <clears> of those stores that's right there as you walk in. Yeah. Or is it Island Mercantile? I forget. They um, moved everything around in there so many times that it's like, I'm not a hundred percent. I might be Island Mercantile. Cause usually it's when you go in, it's on the left. Um, yeah, but they've moved stuff around there so much. It should be interesting to see how they divide it up, though, because there's not a yeah. ton of pins. Right. These are very low edition sizes. Um, the individual pins are LE2000. I, I would assume those are probably going to be around sixteen ninety nine dollars each. Um, you have one that has um, marlin and then that crazy looking fish with like the little um, mm-hmm. electric like, thing yeah. above it. Um, you have another one with Nemo and Marlin in the um, like the coral. He's popping in that. It looks like it might be like a slider element on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have one with Bruce. And Marlin and Dory in the goggles from the uh, the fisherman. Um, that one's LE two thousand. So those three individual pins, I think, are probably gonna be around sixteen, seventeen dollars. Um, but yeah, then the box sets. Like so, guys, these are split between both coasts. The box set is limited edition of just five hundred. Oh God, this is gonna be yeah. two fifty. That's what yeah. it's gonna be. That's two fifty per coast. Like it's gonna be crazy. And then the jumbo pin, which I absolutely love. It has uh, Mr. Ray on it. It's a beautiful looking pin. That one is um, limit edition of 1,000. So another low edition size there. So what I'm kind of thinking, I'm not 100%, 100% sure on this, but I feel like the box set and the um, jumbos are only going to be available at one location on each coast. And I would assume it would be like at Disney Springs. It would be at Pin Traders. Mm-hmm. Since that makes such, no sense. Right. Since there's such a low edition size, kind of like what they did with the Wally pins, they didn't have the, the jumbo everywhere. Um, they had the individual ones everywhere, but uh, the jumbo and the box set weren't. I have a feeling these might uh, sell out on Thursday, on, on the day of. So we'll see. But um, I think that was all of the questions we had on, on this mini release. Um, just you know, to reiterate, it's going to be like a typical Thursday release. Um, low edition size, you know, if you really want these pins, I would get to the parks early or get to Disney Springs early, try to get there um, when they open on uh, on Thursday. And uh, yeah, super colorful pins. If you guys want to check out all the information, uh, be sure to head over to DisneyPinsBlog.com in our weekly pin post. 
um, all the um, photos will be up there. We actually have really nice photos of these pins from mm -hmm. the uh, pin trading night. So we ha we have the real photos, not the ones from the uh, flyer. Right. And uh, with that being said, I uh, I had a little small little announcement to, to make. I'm actually going to be going down to Walt Disney World this weekend. Yay! Yeah, super last minute, very quick, quick trip. Um, I uh, The stars aligned. I was able to make a really quick trip down. Um, I'm hoping to cover this little Finding Nemo mini event, get the pins. I'm coming in on Friday, so I'm hoping they'll still be available on Friday. Um, I think they might be. We'll see. And Jen, we, at least uh, some of them. Yeah, at least some Maybe of them. Maybe not yep. all of them, but some of them. Right. And uh, Jen and I will be uh, hanging out uh, yeah, we Friday will. night. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Work. Woo. Yeah. Party at Disney Springs. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to go eat somewhere new that yeah, we haven't eaten before. Yeah, yeah totally trying, good. trying Enzo's Hideaway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very excited and, about that. Yeah, it should be tasty. We actually went and had dinner at the Edison, which we had just visited when we did our little fifth anniversary outing. Yeah. Um, for DPB and the food was really good at the Edison. I recommend it. It was good. Oh, nice. I'll and we stayed that for, for some dinner. of the live entertainment and all too. And that was really cool. Cool. Yeah. I definitely want to check yeah. that out for, for dinner sometime. Get something to it eat there. Really good. Um, nice. all the food was good and the entertainment was good and we made our reservation pretty late. So that way we would already be sitting for once the band came on and all of that. Oh, nice. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It was nice. It was really That's good. That's really cool. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for Pin Chat. Uh, real quick before we go, I just want to mention a couple of the upcoming events. Um, first, we have at Disney Studios Store Hollywood on July 28th is the next Princess Cutie pin release at 9 a.m. At uh, Disneyland Paris, we have the next pin trading night on July 27th, uh, this Friday. And then for other pin trading events, there is a New York City Disney Pin Traders meet on July 29th from 1 to 5 p.m. Um, in New York City. We have the details up on the events page if you guys want to check out any of these events that I just mentioned now or any upcoming events you know, further out down the road. Keep an eye out for those ones. And uh, I think that is going to do it for episode number 137. Jen, thanks again nice. for uh, coming oh, on. Oh, anytime. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you real soon. Yeah, I'll awesome see you real time. soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again for listening or watching here on YouTube or iTunes, or Google Play, or the website, wherever you find the podcast. We really appreciate it, and I uh, hope everyone has a great week. See ya. Have a magical day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>